the vision is bucket hat. Okay, so the idea was bucket hat, but then it just it just changed and evolved and to something so pretty. So just stay tuned. Hi, I'm Katie Wakefield and I am an advanced beginner slash intermediate crocheter. Um, anyway, let's talk about the vision of the bucket hat. Um, so my vision is this picture inspo. It's this wavy pattern. I got this inspiration from a girl called Ashley Creates <laughs> on Pinterest. Um, I do not have a, a pattern for this, but it's okay. We'll just wing it and see how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> I will be using this mohair blend with wool and nylon. Alongside it, I will be using this 100% cotton and this natural white color. My second choice is this bottle green. Ooh, isn't she just so pretty? My last color will be using this pretty blue. I will add all the details of the yarn that I'm using in the description. So I'm using a three millimeter hook because it's my favorite and I also I want the stitches to be tight so yeah and the reason why I picked mohair yarn was for that you know that fuzzy look and then the cotton is just like for structural support but also maybe it'll look nice as well not make it look too fuzzy I don't know I'm just going with the flow right now <sighs> okay just a uh, update on where I am right now so I finished like the, you know, like the top part of a bucket hat, like the part that goes like on your head. Um, I finished that. And this is how she's looking. She's, she's looking kind of cute, you know, like look at her. Looking, I don't know, it's gonna focus on it. Yeah, it's nice, cute, and fuzzy. Um, I just wish I put like a green stitch over there and over here. But overall, I think I'm happy so far. I'm just gonna see how the end result looks but now that she's cute on the front let me show you what she looks like and the back yeah <laughs> oh gosh pray for me guys So this is a gift right and I'm getting to that stage where I'm like well what are they are they gonna like this are they actually gonna like this but yeah I'm thinking of making another one that's like just white just a bucket hat but white I'll think about it definitely on my mind hi so, we've had a rough week, but we finished her, and she's very cute. Look at her. Okay, I'm, I have a little band, band on, so it's constricting. But, yeah, I'm just gonna have, oh, close up, close up. I want you to see all of the fuzz. Do you see the fuzz? So she is very cute, but she reminds me of Mushroom Maid. She, she reminds me of Safari Hat. So because of that, the plan has, I don't want to say change, it has evolved. This is not going to be a bucket hat anymore, guys. So watch this face. <laughs> watch this face. We... I'm going to elevate her into something even <laughs> okay so I just want to show you what I have done so um, I think it was seven rows I did here on the hat on the flat part seven rows of basically increasing 
um, that includes the magic circle and then I went down here I can't remember how many rows I can count for you but anyway I just went down here until I felt comfortable on the way it sat on my head and then here I went about five rows of um, constant increases so I increased every in every row for five rows so because I don't want it to like keep continuing going up like that I am um, you know like how it curls, how it naturally curls, you can kind of see it's curling. So I don't want it to continue doing that, so I'm just gonna, wanna, um, I wanna add extra rows without it um, curling like it does, like naturally curling like that. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna keep on um, crocheting all around, all around without increasing or decreasing, just to give it like, um, yeah, more length here. More length here. So I ran out of white, but luckily the white was just enough. <laughs> and I think I added like what two extra rows, and the length is quite nice. I think the length is long enough. Yeah, I don't want I don't want it too long. But now all I need to do is add the the the, the string, the cable, the you know what I'm talking about. Hi guys. So this hat turned out too nice. Too nice, I'm telling you, this hat is beginner friendly. And if you have a bucket hat and you feel like no 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 it needs it needs to be it needs more life. Safari hats, I'm telling you. Um, but I know that this video wasn't a tutorial at all. Um, yeah, I just took you along with me. But if you want more details on how I made this, let me know down in the comments. Right, if you guys make safari crochet hats, please tag me. Um, I'm on Instagram as well. Um, Katie Wakefield and I would love to see